guys, welcome back to the Easton Training Center at CrossFit ETB from Georgia with Olympic Posture. And we're going to be going over the butterfly variation of the pull-up today. So this is the butterfly pull-up. This is what it looks like. That's the variation that we're going to go over. So that's the finished product, but we need to make sure that when we're teaching our athletes, we get them there in a safe progression. So we're actually going to start with our PVC pipe. So I'm going to have my athletes take their PVC pipe, and I'm going to have them hold it two inches wider than their regular pull-up position. So if I know that they hang from the bar in a nice and narrow grip, I'm going to have them take it about two inches wider. Okay. So this is going to be my setup. I'm going to ask the athletes to take the bar slightly away from the face, come around until it reaches almost the chin, pull the bar back towards the face, extend the face through so the bar goes back and behind the head, find the lockout, and repeat. So the bar is going to circle away from the face. When it reaches the chin level, the bar is going to come towards the face. The head is going to come all the way through, and we're going to rotate through. Once you see that that's a safe position for the shoulders, you're going to actually start to add a little bit more of a body roll as you come through so that they can mimic what it's going to feel like having the bar, uh, coming up to the bar with their head away from the position. Alright, so that's going to be step one. Slightly wider than our regular pull-up grip, away from the face, towards the chin, head comes through, bar goes back and behind. How the athlete do this? enough times that you can make sure that their shoulder mobility is appropriate to move on to step two. Yeah. Step two, you're going to have them approach the bar in that nice wide grip and for now our thumbs are going to be wrapped under instead of on top. Just for safety, it's their choice once they get going. So now we have them standing or hanging from the bar just like they were holding their PVC pipe. I'm going to have them mimic a smaller circle. So I'm going to have them mimic as if I was taking the bar away from the face, head around and up and through, and back around. So I'm going to have them control the shoulders in a smaller movement, just like we did with the PVC pipe. All right, so it's a very small movement, but I'm moving the bar just in the same circular motion that I was moving the PVC pipe. Once we see that they have the shoulder control to do that, we can start adding in a little bit of the feet. So notice the hips and the legs haven't done anything. So for step three, we already know they have the shoulder mobility with the PVC pipe. We know that they can control that in a hanging position. Have them hanging, and I'm going to have them start with the shoulder roll as if they were going to take the head or the PVC pipe down and the head back. So they're going to take the head back and roll around once, and as they start to come forward, they're going to pick the feet up. So it's going to look like a roll, feet, roll, feet, roll, feet. So what we're looking for is a movement of the shoulders that's twice as slow as the feet. In other words, the feet have to re-get back to the position, have to re to that upwards position twice as fast as the arms. So you're going to make sure that they have that control before we actually start to get that joint mobile. So, we're going to start with the head forward and the feet back. We're going to kick the feet forward, bring the head back, and reset. And we're going to have them do that five times. Alright, it's not as fun as going straight into it. You can start to get that weird pull pain in the back if you allow your athletes to go into this too quickly. After that, we're going to let them start to go a little bit higher, but we're not going to ask them to take their chin all the way up to the appropriate height. So I'm going to bring my feet up, I'm going to bring my head forward, I'm going to give myself a little dolphin kick, and continue into that circle. If they're able to string it together, that's fine, or they can start with their head forward, their feet back, give me one little kick, and reset. What we're looking for in this portion is after they kick, you're looking for their ability to let the head come in front of the bar. If they drop straight down, then the shoulder is not going to be able to reset. Okay? So we're on step four. We're going to start with the feet back this time. Head forward. 
I'm going to give a little dolphin kick forward. Let the head come back and all the way through to finish. Once we see that they have the ability to swing forward, we're going to let them do one pull up at a time with the full kick. So they're going to start with their shoulders forward, back and their head forward, feet back. They're going to get a full dolphin kick. The dolphin kick is going to be forward as the head comes back and extremely far away from the bar. Then we're going to allow them to reset the feet as the head comes all the way in front of the bar and comes down. So it's going to look like this. Shoulders back, head forward, feet are back. I'm going to give one kick and fall through. Again, looking for their ability to kick back into the pull-up and then reset by falling all the way forward. Alright, so now we have a drill where they do little ones for shoulder mobility and where they do one for height. Alright, so you're going to ask them to do a couple sets of the little ones and then individual ones to make sure their shoulders are ready. Once you start to see that the two are coming together, meaning that the little sets are getting a little bit higher and that the singles are extremely far in front of the bar, then you're going to ask them to try to get height on multiple ones. Alright guys, that's the butterfly pull up. That's what it looks like. Thanks for joining us today. Hey guys, let's look at two things from the side angle. Once your athletes have the shoulder stability and you know that they're getting the rhythm, we need to make sure that they're approaching the bar as they're coming up into the pull-up at a backwards angle. So we need to make sure that as they're coming up, they are a foot away from the bar or so. So they have to get used to getting that parallel, or getting breaking the plane of that pull-up away from the bar. Because as they're coming forward, we need to make sure that they're coming extremely far forward in front of the bar. So on the way up, their head is going backwards behind the bar as they're coming down. It's floating extremely far forward. The other thing to notice is that the shoulders move twice as slow as the feet. So as soon as we kick the feet, we get the power that we need, use it, and continue to use it as the feet come back up into position. So the feet kick, the shoulders use it, the shoulders continue to move forward, the feet are already back in position. So if you're going to think about it as a tempo, it's going to be a kick, recock, slow down. Kick, recock, slowly float down.